Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Divine Truth Tarot. I'm going to be doing a check-in with the counterparts today and I hope everyone's having a beautiful Friday. I hope, let me plug in my uh, speaker here. I, I hope you guys are feeling the release of the energies. Um, <clears throat> the past few days, or weeks rather, have been really challenging. And something released, at least for me this morning, and I know that many of us are on the same wave, so I'm hoping that you guys are feeling the same, feeling a little breakthrough. Um, something that really helps me is CBD oil, and <coughs> I, I swear by it. I use it at night. It really helps me to sleep soundly, to release any anxiety, especially any anxiety surrounding this journey, and just to feel more at ease. So I'm sending you guys lots of love, lots of strength, and if you're looking for a personal reading, I'm now booking into October. So those of you who have booked with me, you you know when to expect your reading, but please know that I, I am booking in advance at this time. I will be taking off a few days in October for my birthday, which I swear I say this every video. Obviously, I'm excited about my birthday, guys. Um, it's Halloween. I don't think anyone's going to ever forget that. Uh, I get really excited when September comes. Uh, I get really inspired by fall. So. I'm such a dork. So um, anyway, I will be taking some time off probably the last week of October. But let's go ahead and get started. And I just saw 144. So welcome the 144,000 to the channel. We are going to look at first the Osho Zen deck. So let's go ahead, give it a nice clearing, give it a nice shuffle, invite in the angels, the archangels, the ancestors, as well as any benevolent beings and guides, as well as my higher self, my spirit guides, my ancestors, and Archangel Michael and Raphael to provide a veil of protection, grace, light, and love around this reading, around this room, around the cards, and everyone watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and so it is. Okay, I'm going to actually put this back in because I haven't yet set an intention for the cards. <clears throat> These cards in this particular deck, you shuffle them and the cards will come out flying very easily. So I want to just make sure that I set an intention here. So just giving them a nice shuffle first. And we're going to look into the energies uh, what does the Divine Masculine want us to know at this time? If you guys have been keeping up with my channel, I've been posting a lot of things on the community tab, a lot of very beneficial information that many of you are really relating to and resonating with. <clears throat> so go ahead and check those posts out after you watch the video. So let's go ahead, setting the intention for what's going on. What does the Divine Masculine need us to know at this particular point in time? What does the Divine Masculine need the Divine Feminine to know? <clears throat> Ooh, okay so we have the burden and isolation okay <clears throat> we have two cards here the three of swords which typically is heartbreak and betrayal in the traditional deck in this deck it's isolation so feeling iced out um this is an interesting card to me uh, it's sort of like an ice king and he's crying liquid tears. Um, there's a lot of energy in the Three of Swords. Uh, this is really speaking to any third party situations in particular. So if that resonates with you, let me know. Um, I really feel as though part of what's going on in... Hold on, guys. I'm going to go ahead and... Sorry, just closing something out. Um what I feel is that the divine masculines are wanting to convey at this juncture in time that things have not been easy without the divine feminine's presence or energy being felt in their daily life. Many of them have been, fe they've felt the sensation of being pushed out of the divine feminine's life and they felt this energy of the divine feminine is no longer needing the divine masculine. This has caused many tower moments and many breakthroughs, breakdowns, and breakaways for the Divine Masculine. So the Divine Masculine, it's its like they feel as though they have no one to talk to in their circle, in their, their 3D life at this time. So 
you know, if you are receiving communication and they are reaching out, <clears throat> many of them are doing it. There's definitely still some fear present <clears throat> for the divine masculines. Many of the divine masculines are reaching out, hoping to feel the warmth of the divine feminine again, hoping that they can get out of this energy of feeling like she or he has iced them out of, uh, has iced them out of their life. And I feel like, you know, it's almost as though the masculine is saying, I don't know how you will receive me. They're afraid of how they will be perceived or received. And so I, I, I feel like many of them feel like not that this is their energy, but that this is your energy. So kind of queen of swords energy of being very tough and sticking to your guns and keeping those boundaries up and the divine masculine energy realizing that they have to step up or step out. So then we have the six of swords. Now in this deck, it's the burden. Um, the divine masculines are feeling the burden of their their 3d life of the antics of the drama and the trauma of their 3d life so <clears throat> the six of swords it typically is a card of transition um, a rite of passage so to speak and it's also about really releasing uh, baggage okay so it's this personal transition that's taking place it's a change in the person's life so the divine masculines are absolutely going through a change and i feel like maybe they're looking for the divine feminine but again she's she's nowhere to be found because she or he is off on their journey of transformation and while the divine masculines have been sorting through things and holding things down in the 3d the divine feminines have been free to really conquer what they need to conquer in the 5d and the 4d so you know the divine masculines agreed to stay back their soul agreed to stay back in the 3d to release the their queen to release the divine feminine to freedom in the 5d so you guys are working or have been working on different planes for the most part of 2020 and will continue to do so for quite some time at least until the end of the year i do see i do see things changing in january january through march of 2021 in particular now things the, the initiation of those changes will start to take place is taking place this this month for many if you read the comments and you look at the comments that i've pinned both on the videos and on the community tab where I post, you will see that people are receiving not only contact and communication, but that many masculines are owning up to a lot of the things that I've been saying. So there's a lot of validation there. It will really help you on your journey, especially for those of you who think that you've been forgotten because you haven't received communication. And um, I feel like there's a loss being felt uh, here with the Six of Swords. It's like, even though they know that there's a more promising future, it's still scary for the divine masculines. And I feel like there's going to be a time where they're sort of doing things alone for a while, getting their bearings possibly before they really come full force, you know, the eight of wands energy, full force to the feminine. So I feel like they're gonna be holding back. They're gonna be focusing on getting through this transformation and change. Okay, what else does the divine masculine need the divine feminine to know at this time? What else does the divine masculine need the divine feminine to know? take a look at those cards oh wow okay so let's take a look at abundance now we have the king of pentacles here this has been coming up actually a lot in my readings uh, both personal and the collective readings over the past week or two so pentacles energy is earth energy taurus virgo or capricorn there may be some significant placements in Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for you or your twin, or this is just indicating that, again, this is grounding, you know, the breakthrough of grounding these connections into, <clears throat> into the physical. Now, breakthrough is the justice card in this deck, okay? So let's talk about this for a minute. It's interesting that these flipped out together. We have breakthrough coming through, indicating that justice is going to be given and granted to these connections. So if you've been wishing for a breakthrough, if you've been wishing for justice to come in for your divine love and your divine connection, then look no further because the universe <clears throat> is coming in to ensure that this does happen, that the scales are balanced in favor of these divine connections. There's so much more riding on your union than just the physical reunion of souls there's so much more 
And it's interesting because there's a lot of con there's a lot of ideas going around right now. And I received a beautiful email that I, I read quickly today, this morning, that I haven't responded to yet. Um, but she was stating, you know, beautifully, beautifully written, uh, very spiritually inclined. And she said, you know, perhaps we have to let go of the idea that there's one masculine for us and we need to open ourselves up to many endless, limitless possibilities. I know that's not going to be a popular opinion, but you guys know by now that I'm not here to deliver the popular opinion. Part of my soul's evolution and part of my soul's purpose and my main purpose is divine truth. This is why the channel is called Divine Truth Tarot. I'm also a divine manifester, but first and foremost, I am here to speak the truth because in past lifetimes, I'm being liberated in this lifetime to speak the truth because in past lifetimes, I was unable to speak the truth and I was burned at the stake and I was silenced. So I'm not here to speak something that's going to speak to your ego. I'm here to speak to your soul. So I'm curious to know, I'm not saying one way or the other right now what I think or what I believe. I'm not, this is not my opinion. This is just a thought and an idea. So again, this could get controversial. So please be kind to one another and be aware of triggers, okay? We get triggered enough on this journey. So please try not to trigger your fellow twins. But I do think that this possibility or this this idea of opening up to limitless possibilities is very intriguing. And I think that that could take a lot of the anxiety and a lot of the fear out of this journey of what if my twin doesn't come through? What if this, what if that? And I think just getting back to this this place where you reside deeply in your heart and soul that says, I know that this is going to happen because this is my birthright. I think that's a very powerful place to be. And instead of attaching to one person or attaching to a specific outcome, we can attach rather to boundlessness, to the idea that there are many possibilities. There are many, uh, there are many just endless possibilities for how our life will turn out and how things can shift in an instant. So something to think about, you know, do we have other masculines that or feminines that we could end up with and would they be fulfilling? And and then the question I have there is, you then you're in essence potentially going to end up with someone else's divine masculine. So then we have to let go of the idea sort of of ownership of this is my twin and this is your twin. So it definitely interesting thoughts. The ego wants to fight it for sure. I can feel mine coming in wanting to, you know, start a rumble <laughs> with my soul. Um, there's some sorrow for sure, you know, linked to that idea for me of, you know, if it's not my twin, but but then the idea of, well, let's keep our, our minds open to whatever is the best, whatever is in our best interest, whatever is in the best interest of the collective and of humanity and of the planet Earth at this time to really assist in evolution because that's what we're here to do. So, you know, King of Pentacles energy, lots of abundance coming in to these connections and not just abundance, but fulfillment. So these unions and reunions of souls are going to bring about, it's sort of like a wave is going to wash over humanity and it's going to wash over the planet. And there's going to be so much joy to be experienced, to be had for everyone. We are coming into this consciousness of love and unity and harmony. And uh, I do feel like I'm very much of the mindset that your heart knows the way. And if you could just, you know, get out of, get out of your ego, get out of the, get out of your own way. So let's ask the cards because I'm actually curious. Let's ask the cards. Spirit, what say you? Interesting. Wow. So I was thinking it, I didn't even get a chance to say it out loud. I was thinking of, let's ask Spirit, what does Spirit think about this idea of limitless possibilities? And we get the sharing card. This is fascinating. This is the Queen of Wands, um, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is interesting. So I know the triggers are there. I can feel my throat wanting to close up. I can feel the triggers coming in. What do you mean? Share my twin. This is my twin. Ownership. That is all coming from ego for all of us. And so I think perhaps the divine is saying, open yourself up, you know, divine being of light um, coming out of the ego and entertain the idea, you know, that possibly there could be the things could end up differently than what you'd expected. 
That does not at all mean that your twin is not your twin. It doesn't mean you won't end up with them. Again, I'm not stating an opinion. I'm just curious here. So let's ask again. Spirit, what say you about having more than one divine masculine or divine feminine? What say you about letting go of the person? What do you say about letting go of the person? The schizophrenia card continues to come out. I keep on putting it back in. This is the two of swords. This is mental indecision. So we have schizophrenia of the mind. Um, Spirit says, I'm not going to give you an answer. <laughs> Spirit says, I'm not giving you an answer. That's not what I'm here to do. You have to figure that out for yourselves. But very interesting that we have sharing and the two of pentacles, or sorry, two of swords and the seven of pentacles. Now, the Seven of Pentacles talks about, you know, have patience for the harvest that is to come. So I feel like there's different ways to interpret this. And one of the ways would be, yeah, stay open. There's this, it's sort of this idea of duplicity, this idea that there's, you know, different possibilities exist on this journey. And then there's this idea of have patience, your harvest, you know, just have patience for your masculine or feminine. The harvest is yet to be fully, um, the harvest hasn't fully come to fruition. It's going to take several more moon cycles for that to happen. So we see a lot of fertility in this card. We see just the abundance, um, very earthly energy here. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the colors of the rainbow. So all the chakras being really looked at right here and um, very much activated. <clears throat> Interesting. So we have that. And then we have the two of swords, which is about mental indecision. So I'm going to let you guys decipher that how you will. Don't yell at the messenger. Okay, Spirit, what can the Divine Feminine do right now to get into alignment? What can the Divine Feminine do to get into alignment? Well, <laughs> we have the Page of Pentacles. I love this. I love the Pentacles. We have the Page of Pentacles. Go on an adventure. Take yourself on an adventure. Be lighthearted in nature. This card comes out all the time for Twin Flame readings please, please, whatever you do, the divine is saying, don't take yourself so seriously. Please, please allow yourself to enjoy every moment. Enjoy the experiences. Enjoy the obstacles if you, if you can in any way. Spirit wants you to enjoy everything because your soul contracted all of this. It's just the ego and personality that want to fight. And the ego and personality that hold on when the soul just wants to let go and enjoy the ride. This is not a destination, this life. It's a journey. And because if you see it as a destination, you have, what is the destination? Death? <laughs> I mean, let's get real. If you achieve or you, you come to one destination, there's always going to be another. It's kind of like the person who says, oh, I'll be happy when. And then you get your win, right? Your quote unquote win. And then you're not happy because then you want more and more and more. Be careful of destination addiction, where you feel like I'll be happy when I reach the next the next destination. I'll be happy when I'm get married. I'll be happy when I get this job. I'll be happy when I'm a millionaire. I'll be happy when this. The key is to be happy now and to be happy then. Create the happiness now, creating the abundance mindset. So take yourself on adventures, feminine. I can't stress this enough. Take yourself on adventures. Make sure that you are really tuning in to what it is that lights you up, what it is that makes you shine, what it is that brings you joy, true joy, boundless joy. What else can the divine feminine do to assist her on this journey right now, spirit? This card keeps on coming up. <laughs> Stop being a biatch. I mean, really, divine feminine. Are you pushing love away? Are you pushing away abundance? Are you pushing away friends and family and people that love you? Are you just being, are you just sulking? Are you not seeing what you have? Because part of the four of pentacles is not being able to see what you have in front of you. It's not being able to see that you have so much abundance and so much to be thankful for. And you, it's like, oh, 
this is a hoarding energy so you're hoarding your love you're hoarding your light and there's a wall uh, I see this I don't know if this is all her jacket it looks like she's wearing this plush jacket and then I see a wall a purple wall and she's just trying to create a wall between her and the world this is not working and I want I want you to ask yourself how is that working for you and if you can do that with lightheartedness okay you know we have this kind of childlike interest if you can do that with lightheartedness and with how a child might say how's that working for you mom or how's that working for you dad it's not working admit it to yourself stop being stingy with your love because the divine loves an open heart the divine loves an open heart divine feminine stop being bitchy okay <laughs> what else can the divine feminine do what else can the divine feminine do to align with her union Ooh, what do we have here we have the page of cups bring in more peace and understanding scorpio pisces cancer energy holla my fellow water signs i know no one says holla anymore but i just did um if my nephews were to watch these videos they'd be ultimately embarrassed um <laughs> so divine feminines it's very clear don't take yourself so seriously go on an adventure treat yourself Bring in more compassion, peace, and understanding, okay? Get into your emotions. Get out of this energy of stinginess and being a butthead and get into the energy of opening your heart. An open heart is what the universe loves. I cannot wait to get my card stands. There's one more card that wants to come out. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Three of Wands, experiencing... So the divine wants you to continue to go out there and experience life. Don't wait for your counterpart. Oh, I'm going to wait. No, don't put your life on pause. Wait. Whenever I say waiting, I never mean literally wait. I mean figuratively. Hold space, but go out and live. And that includes changing jobs. That includes moving continents if you need to, if you're called, excuse me, if you're called to. That includes releasing fear, obviously. That includes doing what your soul is calling you to do without thinking well what about my counterpart your counterpart is on a journey of their own and a journey back to you but as long as you're living in that energy of sort of lack that's living in a lack mentality i don't have enough like i can't do anything until i have this person the universe is gonna oh i don't know about that and it's going to feel stale after a while. That energy is just going to feel stale because nothing will be shifting. So go ahead, allow the shifts to happen, allow changes to occur, and try to embrace them if you can. Okay, so we're gonna, I just wanted to see what we had on the bottom. Something So look on the bottom. We have the judgment card. So justice and judgment both coming up in this deck, uh, in this reading. So interesting, justice and judgment. Who's judging who? Are you judging yourself harshly? Are you judging others? Are you judging people who aren't awake? Are you judging your counterpart? Are they judging you? I feel like there's a mirror effect going on. So counterparts may be judging one another, but this is also about self-redemption and forgiveness of self and forgiveness of others and finding the peace from that place. There's an element of transformation here where because this is the card just before the world card now in this deck after the world card we also have a master card so technically this is the second to last a card in this deck but there's no master card in the traditional tarot so traditional tarot says this is a second um or third to last whatever this is the second to last card in this deck and you know moving beyond any illusions of the 3d because the 3d is full of lies and illusions and it's not the truth maybe partial truth five percent of the truth but we've been fed lies we've been spoon fed ultimately things that harm us and hurt us mentally physically emotionally spiritually so see beyond that in terms of what you're seeing with your two eyes in terms of your connection no matter how many times guys i love you and no matter how many times i say don't look at the 3d ultimately I check their social media and, and, and what? The social media is the 3D. It's not real. And you know this, you know this. I'm just giving you a beautiful reminder, a little kick in the butt because 
the 3D, especially social media, it's just social media is like the devil in my opinion. Um, I'm talking about Instagram and Facebook, mostly Facebook, but Facebook owns Instagram. So, or Instagram owns Facebook, whatever, one or the other, they're connected. Everything's connected. And I do feel like <laughs> the energy of social media is just, just don't. Just don't. Don't believe it, guys. Don't even for a second. Oh, my counterpart's happy. How do you know that? Because you saw a post on social media? Come on. Come on, guys. Don't let your ego lead. Don't let your ego win. No, that doesn't mean anything. You know this. Shield maiden. Make plans and focus. Divine feminine. Interesting energy. Um... You're ready for battle and you're definitely, you've been doing battles in the 4D and dream state. I've, I've been connecting with the younger masculines. I've been assisting the, the wake up of the younger masculines in my dream state. <laughs> it's funny because I expect to dream about my masculine tonight because about a week or two ago, I dreamt of younger masculines. I had three of them vying for my attention, which I mean, my ego was like, hey girl, hey girl. And felt pretty damn good, not gonna lie. I was like, ooh. I still got it and then the next night I dreamt about my masculine and that was when I had the dream where I told him I got a star seed reading and he told me with excitement so did I and we were gonna talk about it and then I woke up so it's almost like there could be competition in the astral realms for you and your counterpart is gonna be picking up on this but the divine feminine is ready to go to battle she's been doing battle in the 4d and the 5d the masculines doing his battle battleground is the 3d okay the masculine energy within us and the masculine energy in the physical does battle in the 3d so this is to me i see this energy of she actually looks well rested um she looks as though she's prepared she looks like she's confident and she's very focused on what the goal is there's there's definitely a knight energy about this card so this is a focused divine feminine who knows what she wants and is going after that many feminines are pursuing their dreams at this time and really working on their wealth working on their queendom working on creating something long lasting that can even outlive them so that's really important divine feminines that you allow your focus to be on you and your life and your path your mission your your purpose right now what's in your immediate uh your present surroundings okay Let's go ahead and just put this down here. And mask, okay. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Spirit says, take that, take that. Okay, so we have the mirror garden energy for the masculines, take time to reflect. The masculine's beautiful, is looking, so there is definitely mirroring going on. They are mirroring you, you are mirroring them. If you're getting mad at them, Take a look in the mirror, guys. Do a mirror exercise. What are you mad at? Are you because you're when we're mad at someone, we're really mad at ourselves. We didn't have healthy boundaries. They overstepped our boundaries. That's not their fault. I'm not saying it's our fault, but what I'm saying is it's not their fault. We need to have responsibility and accountability. So your your masculine did something, your masculine's ghosting you. Look within. How are you ghosting yourself? How are you not being accountable for yourself? How have you not been there for yourself? How have you not supported yourself, your dreams, your goals, your visions? We expect our masculines or anyone to do this for us without first asking ourselves to be there. So interesting that we see this mirror and we see the cosmos. The masculine is starting to see that when he looks in the mirror, when he starts to really, he or she examine themselves at this time, what they're seeing is their reflection in a different way. Not only will they be seeing their divine feminine as you'll be seeing your divine masculine in the mirror, but they're seeing that they're a reflection of the divine. They're starting to see their own divinity. I've been saying this and they've been really waking up to this aspect of the journey, but even more so now. So we've got feminine energy, very different energies, by the way, right? The masculine's sort of over here, like the masculine's over here and this energy of, really looking within and the feminines it's almost like this is feminine energy this is masculine energy but this is this is the feminine in this energy this is the masculine in this energy okay so let's take a look at the union energy union energy union energy these cards are a little harder to shuffle take this 
over here for a second and we're going to ah that feels better okay guardian angel you are not alone so both twins are receiving um signs and signs from heaven and from their loved ones who have crossed so you'll be seeing butterflies birds dragonflies doing probably unusual behavior okay like a, a hummingbird which is rare you know will come up to you um, or any kind of a bird will come up to you and you know i was filming videos two years ago i think it was i was outside and i did a lot of filming outside when when it was cool and this little bird this little woodpecker came up to me not once twice but three or four times and i have him on one of my older videos and i saved the video because it's so amazing that he comes up to say hello and clearly he was a winged messenger so you're going to see animals behaving kind of uniquely or differently so be on the lookout for dragonflies butterflies birds feathers and really any sign that you ask for from heaven whatever that sign might be for you so both divine feminines divine masculines being divinely supported at this time so any other union energies okay they actually want me to go here so we'll complete this reading with the starseed oracle this has been a very interesting reading indeed i'm debating what to title it i think i'm going to go for the shock factor <laughs> because <laughs> I'm just feeling like that. I'm feeling really, really emotionally and spiritually, mentally crappy for a few days. I finally feel more like myself. So I'm going to let the title reflect that. I will be doing another video for you guys, which will premiere tonight. So be on the lookout for that, as well as a few new videos this weekend. Holla, holla, chicker. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. You know, it's good for you. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Alrighty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Both twins are being called to take action steps. Baby sex steps. I keep on saying sex. You know what's on my mind. Anybody else feeling that 5D fire? Raise your hand. Uh, yeah. Okay. So um, action follow your intuition before it makes sense yeah this is you know we talked about this divine feminines may be feeling a call to action around september 15th it's september 11th so we've got four days to go and you may be feeling that call to action <clears throat> sending blessings out on this day to anyone who was affected by 9 11 which was the entire world um, but anyone who was affected friends or family who you may have lost on that day <clears throat> i send out all my condolences my love and my blessings to the departed souls and to your family as well so we have baby steps and then we have star bathing yeah definitely connecting with the stars connecting with the cosmos light body crystal grid yeah lots of light codes coming in transmission activations both counterparts will be feeling a lot of activation at this time a lot of physical symptoms and sensations um, I have been feeling these crazy timeline glitches where I feel like I just shoot off into another world or galaxy and then come back. It's very unearthing and it's this is why grounding is so important. Go to the park, go to the beach, go to the mountains, um, go to a lake, go to a river, go somewhere out of nature where you can ground that energy because yeah, I'll just be sitting there and all of a sudden I'm like, ooh, I'm on a spaceship somewhere. Um, crown chakra is really wide open at this time. And you can see here, we have the energy of the crown chakra. We have the energy of Sirius, so Syrian energy. If you're a Syrian A or Syrian B star seed, Sirius A is the canine, Sirius B is the whales, dolphins, and mermaids, mermen, merwomen. And uh, very much aquatic energy for Sirius B. But the Sirius A, Sirius A is connected to Ascended Master. So we have the Ascended Master energy here, Buddha, Jesus, uh, etc many more bringing harmony and a balance so the energy of the divine really coursing through the cells and the blood and the veins of both counterparts coursing through um, your thoughts your words your actions your dreams so serious energy is um, very much full of light and love and unconditional love at that 
So bringing in this peace and balance and restoring harmony into these connections. So we have the justice card, we had the peace and understanding card here for the feminines, and then we have the serious messenger energy coming through. So if you're receiving those messages, please definitely um, know that this is coming from source. So lots of energies here about peace and understanding. So bringing that in. Uh, the justice and judgment cards as well, bringing these into these connections. So some really powerful energy coming into the weekend, guys. Have a beautiful one. Stay tuned for the video coming tonight. Blessings.